Hello guys, it's been forever since I've uh, done a video here, and um, yeah, it's been a journey. If you guys have been seeing my Twitter, my Twitch, I went ahead and went completely ham. And well, last night, we achieved something pretty huge on this account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop for a moment and let this clip roll. Um, you guys could post a little bit of a shock. I was, um, yeah, yeah, well, let's just watch the clip here. Mole too. Yeah, you're right. KBD and Mole are the ones that really, really suck to go dry on. Blake Horse. Oh, actually, I can't say nothing about Blake Horse. I've, I've still up a lot of money on Blake Horse because of the price of Glavin Boots. Well. You know. Uh, I I am happy right now. All right, well, you guys just saw that was me getting Ultimate Slayer off of Rage Fire Boots. That was the last item in the entire collection log. Uh, the collection log's been out for about four and a half weeks. Um, I was really really close on the night that someone else got it. I literally got a Glaven boot right before he got it, which was a duplicate. But I figure we're gonna do this video a little bit more of announcing that I got it. And I'm going to show my Slayer logs, show my KCs, uh, go over a few logs and what to do. And it's kind of going to be a little bit of a ramble. But I think it's going to be a little bit helpful to people in understanding what to do and how to do things. Now for starts, we're going to go ahead and view my block list and my prefer method. Um, the way I started this log out is I looked for everything that was on task and what I already had auto unlocked. There was quite a few mobs that I didn't have to do. Uh, Crystal Shapeshifters was one I didn't have to do, um, which was a big help. So let's just look at the block list here. So my assignment list. Dark Beasts, Elves, Arids, Crystal Shapeshifters, Black Demons, Creatures of the Lost Grove, Edamu, and Greater Demons is on my block. The reason these are on my block list is because they are the highest weight and they are extremely slow. Uh, note that... One can argue for putting Soul Devourers on there, but Soul Devourers are really quick. Actually, you would block Corrupted over Soul Devourers just because it's hard to find. But then again, you have some items that are Slayer locked. So besides this, I also had to unlock Nightmare Gauntlets, which I made that my first 120 pick, um, which got rid of it. Um, a lot of times I was using Mass for Strike Worms. I, I got them off the Mass dailies. I never had to use Strike Worm clusters. So, with this being said, and looking at my block list, let's go ahead and look at my actual Slayer um, counter here. My collection log. I uh, know a lot of these items I really got lucky or unlucky. Actually, no, let's not look at the collection log. Let's look at the KCs. So, um, Slayer KCs. Slayer creature kills. Thank you. Um, I would note what was pre log and what actually was what. Uh, most of the Abyssal Demons up top here were pre-log. Um, a lot of the Eretz were pre-log, but I got literally like two or three Razorbacks before log. So that kind of evened out. Automatons, I got one glove in that KC before log, and then I got three in a thousand. So I got kind of paid back. Ascension Creatures, um, I took about 7,000 to get grips on task. The rest were off task as camping. Uh, Camel Warriors, I started at about a thousand, and I got really, really lucky on the, I would say lucky on the staff. So, there was that. Celestial Dragons, I started the log at four, no, 12, 12 to 13,000, and I literally killed like 14,000 Celestials or something crazy. Uh, Corrupted, I only did about, between Soul Devourers and Corrupted, I only did about 9,000 KC. To get the Kopesh and the um, gems, it wasn't absolutely terrible. Um, Desert Strikes, I only had like 40, so I was pretty underrated. Dark Beast, I did about 80. I got really lucky on the Dark Bow and I blocked those instantly. Um, the Edamu, those were horrible. I had it pre log for the pet, and I did it pre 120 Slayer Cape perk, so it was a living hell. Um, just because of the time I did it, you know. Gargoyles, no big problem. Gemstones, I started about a 1300, and it's all Elite Dungeon 3 KC. I only did them for Souls, and that was it. I really didn't do them for anything else. I never actually did a Gemstone Dragon Pass until the um, this came out, because 
I never had a reason to. I got this codex done, and then they buffed Gemstone Dragon weight. So it's like, oh, go screw you. It has really high weight now. Block. Because <laughs> I still needed enemy at that time. Block. Glade cores, I started about 500, so 2,000 Glade cores. Grow creatures, I had 300 grow creatures before. I got really lucky on the souls. I barely killed any, and um, basically 1,400 for both the shard and the cinder banes. Strike worms, I did about 1,000 or so. You get a lot of ice. Jungle, I started at like 30. I got unlucky, but not bad. Calgarians, I did 3,000 of these Calgarians was on log. I got really screwed on Calgarians. Ava Strikes, 4.7k estimate for what I actually did on tasks. The rest of the ED2. So, I got very lucky in the fact I got no dupes. I wasn't super lucky on the seeing the pieces, but no dupes. And I never... Ever did a lava strike worm cluster? Never do those, by the way. Never do clusters. They do not give you what you want. Living wyverns. I had maybe three hundred pre log. I did them when they were shit. Thank you, Shogun, for fixing them. I'm happy. They're one of my favorite tasks now. Muspa. I don't know. Jadinkos. I don't remember. I kill these for elites. Necreol. Nightmares. Yeah, nightmares. I got lucky. I had maybe forty, fifty kills pre log. Um, I was very happy with that. Polypore creatures, I don't even remember. Nahil was 40 or something stupid easy. Um, Revenants, this was for the Revenant Dragon. This was not for the Log. The Log would have been... I've done... It took me 58,000 for the Chaos Tail or so, estimated based on coins. Um, Pre-Log, pre-counter. So I've done two procedures, and you're going to see it. Absolutely monster wilderness log for the with regards to that. Ripper demons, that is real. That is how dry I went, and that is why I lost the race. I went 9.8k rippers on claws. Not even a troll. All on task two, which was good because it taught me what was going to be required to do the um, ripper pet. Now for rune dragons, that is literally minus probably about 300 what it took for Ketsy. I got really lucky on the scales. I'm not. I got lucky on the scales, but full Ketsy cucked me. <laughs> there wasn't a question for how many berries I bought. I got screwed really bad. I was very bad. Shadow creatures. I don't even remember how much Penny took. I just done them. Wyverns. This was my granite legs. Uh, stalkers. R N Jesus. Bless my shiny ass because literally that was for pet and hex. I literally got the hex like 80 kills after the pet. I'm never going to complain about that. Uh, this was very bad on dragon pieces, but overall, it's fine. It's fine. I got extremely lucky on vials. 500 or so, like 400 for the Blast of Fusion boots. Literally, like nothing. Uh, Warp Tortoises did nothing. So let's get into the actual log here. Uh, as you see here, base minimum 13 Raptor key parts and one Wyvern crossbow. That was a little bit unfortunate, but <clears throat> never knowing that Raptor chest would be useful. Alright, I had the Edema pet, the Soul Gazer pet, all pre log but as you see with the uh, Demon Slayer, I kind of got bit by that. Uh, go here. I just got these Leaf Bladed Swords last night, two extras. I had five to two, one. Very unfortunate. I am testing Kuros for clues right now. But um, yeah, this is my. I had the uh, Mammoth Key pre log, so I didn't have to do that. I just had to kill one for the tusk. Uh, Staff of Light was the only thing really bad. And I had to re-get the heads because the Slayer Pets didn't count. And I was just not waiting on it. They weren't rare. Nothing like that. Uh, Dragon Full Helmet. Um, this was actually uh, from the Abomination. Which is actually the fastest way to kill it if you guys haven't seen my previous video. 1.1k as you see here in chat for the um, Abomination Pet. Or not. Ah! The Dragon Full Helmet. I got really lucky on gloves, no complaints. I got really lucky on Razorbacks, but I was kind of really dry before task. This I got um, kind of bit on, but it's whatever. I'll take that. Now, Karamja. Oh, boy. Um, I actually killed no Metal Dragons. I got no Root Dragon from Metal Dragons until yesterday. 
like after the log was done. Um, you literally just get this from Abomination. Don't bother doing Steel Dragons or planning to get them from Steels. Mithril's don't drop Dragon Plate Legs and Skirts. Um, Adamant do, but Adamant Dragons are pretty ass. I mean, they're decent for points, but nothing more. Alright, now getting into the Tazar items. The Tazar items is really a weird finicky thing. The Ring of Stone is a 1 in 5,000 from any Tazar or Tokar. Um, so what you do for this log, if you're going for it, is you kill the ones on the outside with a Bladed Darth and a Laceration Boot with a ZGS or Scythe. Um, and you just barge and blade a die between every single, uh, Tizar until you get the Ring of Stone. There is a good chance that you can go extremely dry and get all the weapons as well. If you're missing weapons afterwards, go into the Fight Cauldron and you will get them there. They are like 1 in 200 from anything in the Fight Cauldron. They're not astronomical and they are faster because that staff, according to old school, is 1 in 4k. So, Yeah. Um, as for the gemstones, the halberd is dropped by the hydrix, the boots and gloves are dropped by the dragonstone, and the helmet and legs are dropped by the onyx. Just kill it until you get it. It's a 1 in 2k for a specific off of any dragon. It's 1 in 6k. So, yeah. Um, Keldergrim, this one's basically the dragon pickaxe. It's another meme besides that. I'm not going to go into this one at all. Um, Canandrian Desert, the corrupted gem is on task, 1 in 5k. Um, so that's really what happened there. I ended up getting a second gym instantly after the first wall. And I got the code patch about five tasks later. Um, the Ripper Claw, I literally had five Ripper Claws at like 4,000 KC. I went 5k dry to finally get the offhand. I didn't get anything else. My claws are absolutely disgustingly bad. 41 Raptor key parts from uh, Rippers, six from Camels. And I got the Camel Staff. It's an average of like four or five actually. So, it's whatever. Um, Lost Lands. Um, this one was a disgusting mess. Uh, like I said before, I got no dupes here, but I went kind of like poop on that. Five Steads, two Glavens, one Rage Fire. Not what you want to see, but in this little KC, and using three Most Wanted cards, I think it was alright. Uh, got very lucky for no dupes here, though. It would have been bank if I got dupes in veins. Uh, Blowpipe, I got utterly destroyed. Most people are getting destroyed. It's a 1 in 6,000 for specific, and I suggest you kill Venomous. I ended up for dinosaurs. Oh, I didn't even look at dinosaurs here. My dinosaur KC was 16,400. I've done 200 cents for just trying to recover some Slayer points. Uh, Blast Diffusion Boost were very lucky. Mauritania Diary. Oh boy, this one was a pain in my arse. Um, the, the, these items are bad, like these ones here. I went kind of dry on this, and then I just got it just doing tasks. Um, Abyssal Wanted Orb, I was pretty lucky. You should get... No, no, I'm on right now. I'm on right now. So it's three whips to one part. The whip is one in a thousand now, and then this is one in three K to see either one. Um, polypores were simple. These were a little annoying just to get to them. These three items here and the other Grifoil piece. I don't even see where it's at. But oh yeah, Grifoil gloves. So this was just a little annoying. It's nothing big. Uh, Celestials, as you see here, I really should have had a lot more items. I went really unlucky. And in fact, I, these are things that you can just use a Potion Reservoir and an Aggression Scrimshaw. And you can literally just go to bed and just pass out. I literally passed out and woke up this morning. Woke up in the morning with the title. I'm not even kidding you. I passed out. I had set up on my bed or um, my desktop and then boom I just passed right, right on out and um, alright so let's go to other worlds other worlds was clean very clean I got some dupes of the knives going for these two but it was a very clean log these are all pre-log and they're all from editor they're not from shapeshifters uh, nightmare gauntlets so like I said one I got no dupes here these will change because I gotta go back to I'm going to get more of these at least because I have to go back to ED3 because I do not have the boss log done. Uh, five Ketsu Scrolls. Wilderness. You, I'll, I'll let this sit here for a moment and sink in of just how much rev shit I have to get this. If these items counted, I would have, I think, nine of these, like 100 to 200 of these, 
at least another 20, another few dozen, another 400 crystals or so. But as for the worm parts, I just literally got scalp, then spike, then heart. I didn't get no dupes. That's really all I could hope for. So I would consider that very lucky that I didn't get any dupes. As for general, um, yeah, the sand was pretty ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. I got real, I was dry as shit. I was like down 5,000 raptor mobs and no sand. And then I got sand, 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 sand. From rippers like I was getting them by the hour it was ridiculous but it makes rippers really good money um, because on average with some of the newer methods you can get like 500k an hour and it's one in a thousand so that makes it about 5k mil an hour just doing that and picking that one up not counting claws not counting other stuff uh, dragon eggs a lot of these are pre log um, I, they counted the pets in them too. This was all post log. I actually burned a hundred of them right before log, and um, converted it into my my passage of the abyss for ships. Um, a lot of these are from Epi Hunt. It took me two hundred and fifty four Evans to actually get Epi. Um, Ceridoman boss. That's the reason I have like sixteen thousand. Like the reason I have like thirty thousand Godwars KC was just because of this. Uh, Serenic Scales, random. Um, in fact, you can get them from a rack store and they count too. I just got two earlier. Essence was all from uh, Dragon Boots and Gloves Hunt. And then these were very, you see they don't drop evenly. Um, Envisages, a lot of this was from KBD, no, not KBD, uh, QBD. I actually don't even know where all these visages are from. I know at least 15 of them are from Celestials. If not even more. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my entire drop log. It is complete. The Ultimate Slayer title is unlocked. In fact, um, let's go into achievements. Where does it go? I actually did not check this last night. I think I think Ultimate Slayer goes all the way down here. Yep, the Ultimate Slayer. Obtain a collection log of every unique drop from Slayer monsters. And it goes through every single one of them. Um, this was quite a journey. I'm not going to lie, and I just sit here and talk for about 16 minutes after the clip. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. This was probably one of my best achievements ever. I didn't think I'd finish it this fast, but I really hope we get more updates like this that really push the limit. Um, as for my next goal, I'm going to be um, opening it up to you guys. I'm going to post on Twitter as well um, if you guys want to see anything special about Slayer Logs. Slayer creatures, Slayer monsters, um, simple ways of killing them, simple ways of doing it, keeping your sanity. But I'm probably going to be going for all boss logs next. Collection logs seemingly is my thing. I'm also going to be working on um, finishing up some cool logs. Now that I know some things that are going to be happening in the back end, we'll see what happens. But um, Pretty much, Ultimate Slayer is done. I wish I could have made more videos for it, but I kept everything a secret until I had the Wilderness Log done. And when I got the Wilderness Log done, I literally was down to like 16 items. So, um, I went extremely fast and just got screwed. I just got stonewalled at the end, which is understandable. I mean, these items are not common. They are very rough to get. And um, but still, it was fun. A pain, but fun. And I really can't wait for the next thing they bring out because it's like keeping my blood flowing with this. But as I said before, boss logs will be our next target and clue logs. The clue series will be returning. I'm going to be upping the ante though because I really want to finish Gilded so I can finish off the hearts. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy. It. And like I said before, if you guys watched this far, appreciate you. Double thumbs up. And uh, we'll just start with uh, whatever you guys need for information. So thank you guys very much and enjoy your weekend and enjoy your hunts and good luck.